Hello everyone, thank you once again for watching this uh, video. Um, the last video we were we were talking about MailChimp as a email solution provider and today we're gonna focus on how to use MailChimp with Canva uh, together, I mean synchronized, so we can create uh, more visual appealing email campaigns. So at this point, I'm pretty sure you have a a MailChimp account if you don't have one I suggest you guys to uh, check this video uh, take a quick look at how to create your account it, it won't take more than 15 minutes uh, not just create your account but understand how MailChimp works so I recommend you to watch that video before you you uh, start working with this one now we're gonna move to Canva Canva is a freemium app, which means that it has a free version and if you want to upgrade it, you can pay for it. The good thing about Canva is that you can access online. So it's a web-based kind of app. You can use it on your phone or on any type of computer. Uh, basically, Canva is a graphic design tool that will allow you to work with templates okay, or pre-designed elements that you can easily modify by uh, dragging and dropping in a very user-friendly uh, interface. This is pretty much the, the the main home page or the main page where you're gonna land it on after uh, typing canva.com and on top that you will see here they have a um, search box that you can use to look for specifically what kind of uh, design you want to use so as you can see here they also have like a very visual elements to you know show you what kind of things you can do from all type of uh, digital platforms design um, from social media to website banners and also a lot of you know print print media you know flyers news newsletter etc so today we're going to use it just for our email campaign so it comes with a pre-designed templates for email campaigns so first we're going to go here and look for um, newsletter and you will see that here you have multiple beautiful designs you know very visual appealing that you can use to um, start designing your email campaign so just for uh, this example, I'm going to use this one. Okay, you can see that it is two sections, right? So I'm going to click this one. You can just go and customize this template. And yeah, you have more options here, like similar options that you can you can use. But I will focus on this one. You, as I mentioned earlier, Canva is a drag and drop tool. So in this side in the left side of your screen you will see a um, menu side menu and you know different tools or sections right like design element uploads text so basically all the elements and sections you got them here and uh, for each sections you have a panel where you can you know scroll down and see options for each one so when you have this pre-design for templates, uh, it's easy to start working with it. So uh, let's do it. So first you have to upload your images. I, I have already done that. I have my logo, my uh, Mazda images that I've been you know, using for demonstration, right? You will see when I just use that one too, when I upload it just in case. Now we can, we can start working with this. So, you can see here there are some elements like text that you can modify easily by clicking and writing your own text i'm not going to use this one so i'm going to get rid of it and same with this one and now i'm gonna uh, bring my images here so first i want to create with elements a uh, circle right here a circle you can click on it like I did or you can drag it here and place it here it's up to you okay pretty quickly I'm gonna just delete this one this is gonna be my logo okay 
and you can change the color here okay I'm gonna these are my images that I been and you can just drag it here it's too big so I'm gonna make it smaller and place it inside this and then you can start adding some text I have my text already um, done so I'm gonna just copy and paste it but uh, I have to keep in mind that this is gonna be an email and most of the emails 54% of emails are open in mobile devices so using a very small font won't help your customers to read your email well so I'm gonna go here and make it bigger now take it to 15 okay I'm gonna use the same font just gonna place it here for now because I also wanna uh, I want to increase my uh, button size like like so okay so it's more visible and then I'm gonna place this here okay you can take this a little bit up so up here it's two there you go perfect so I'm always giving some blank space between elements now you can select this image right and change it for your own images so I'm gonna just look for this one select it and just you know drop it here inside look automatically replace the image you have there then you have the first part looks good uh, I don't want to use this font um, I want something more consistent with uh, my other platform so I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna bring something from the text section here this is perfect I, I was using this before so but you can find it by scrolling down this it should be somewhere there or you can select the combination you feel like this is you know and you know I just click on it and it'll you know show up on your artwork so this is a group right can you see that everything is grouped here so what I'm gonna do now is ungroup it and you know try to work with each element separately okay so here you can see that uh, it says ungroup right so first you have to select the, the group and then ungroup and then all the elements are separated so I'm gonna just keep sale I'm gonna keep while but I'm gonna change the color so to change the color you have to click on the element and you will see the uh, text color here option on top panel and you can add a uh, color to your color palettes here so I'm gonna use this and automatically will be placed there so anytime you want to change and or use this color uh, you will get it available here okay then I'm gonna keep sales and I'm gonna change my unique value proposition there you go so now I can start modifying this like you have different ways to uh, make this smaller or bigger so basically is uh, here on the corners you have these dots you can make it bigger or smaller you can play around with the size of your font or you can make it longer or shorter by using this you know center handle okay so yeah once ready I'm just gonna place it here and yeah basically I, li I like what I see I'm just gonna keep this I don't want that small text in my first section yeah make sure that um, it's color consistent and to do so I'm gonna just change this to you so here you can see uh, you have the the background color and the border color so I'm gonna just change it for my orange just to be more consistent yeah out oh, here I'm gonna just place book now okay book now sounds good looks good oh I have to change this picture you can just drag it here inside this box and it'll be there all right so we have our first part and then we move to the second one again I'm gonna get rid of this one I think that one on top was 
three. I'm gonna use the same 15.3 and I'm gonna change my text. Maybe I'm going to duplicate this one by using this here, duplicate it. And I'm gonna add something like, this is our website. And make it a, big, a little bit bigger. point more just gonna put it in here and I'm gonna use a different color so here I'm gonna change my picture again I'm gonna just drag this one on this area and I'm gonna change this font for the one that I'm using here so what is this phone you click on it and you will see the name text editor and you will see here immediately all this option Okay, so I'm gonna use the same. And you know, all the fonts you're using on your, so just gonna select this one. Um, and I'm gonna make it a little bit longer and just 2%, oh. 2% discount sale. Yeah, and maybe a bit smaller. So it doesn't take the whole the whole image real estate okay there you go and then we change the call to action again so um, separate this just for now and we modify this to a different call to action you're gonna put something like okay for your test and okay now we take this one and we move it here. But again, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Try to make it fit with the center of my text. And, sorry. And I'm gonna change the color, okay, to orange. And here I have cheap over the text so that's why the text is not visible you can see here I can make it bigger okay you can see that the text is underneath this shape so what I have to do here you can go on top panel on the top panel you can see position go and take it backward and now the text is visible and then you can select the text make it black so you can make it bigger black and bold and the button um, background you can make it a little bit transparent can you see this option on top panel again you can make it transparent so you can have some visibility of your of your car okay and terms and conditions available I'll keep that one now I'm gonna change this uh, background color to white and I'm gonna change this for a new uh, headline. All right, now I'm gonna change the type of font by selecting the whole box and changing the font. You can give more space between these two uh, lines by going here, spacing, and you can, you know, give a little bit more space. That's fine for me. And then another text. And this one, I'm gonna change it for uh, orange. As you can see here, we have our design almost done. Look, if you want to you know, keep adding more pages, you can just add a page here, or you can duplicate this one by you know clicking here and automatically will duplicate. You can start uh, designing from this one. Okay, I'm just gonna delete it. When you have your design already done, next step is before exporting this this content you have to synchronize your canva with mailchimp and that is a internal process that i will show you right away okay so first step is go to the share button on the top uh, right of your screen and look for more if you don't see mailchimp option here you can go for uh, here to more and click on this one. Scroll down, you will see messaging and MailChimp will be one of those options. So you can click on it 
so you can connect this pop-up window will open with your um, MailChimp login information you're gonna just log in and MailChimp will ask for your authorization to connect both and you see that slider is telling you that this information this design is being exported to MailChimp okay so when this is done you can just go to your home page so here we are in MailChimp I just uh, access my MailChimp account uh, I went to campaigns right and all campaigns I have the previous one we were working in the uh, previous video and now we're gonna create a new one using the design we have created in Canva okay so first we're gonna go here and create a new campaign uh, we're gonna use the regular email campaign and you will see this templates and layouts I'm gonna use the basic one and the classic builder for MailChimp email design will be open okay so you can see the blocks here and the Canva or the artwork in this size so I don't need this logo I'm just gonna get rid of this and actually this is in the header section so just delete it and I don't need this either okay so I'm gonna now bring a image here to my body okay body section and I'm gonna upload a image and here in my content you will see that I have these two uh, sections or pages that I have designed in Canva so I'm gonna click the first one and insert it so what happened if I bring another one right underneath this one I'll bring the second image here you will see that a there there is a kind of separation space between these two you know images so in order to get rid of this you click on edit and go to settings and you get rid of the margins by checking this box okay do the same with the other one and that's it now we save it last you can change the color of your um, social media that's up to you you can keep it very colorful or you can do it you know, following the same color pa uh, pattern you have here okay and that's it you have your email campaign ready to to go so let's see how it looks like yep looks pretty nice looks pretty nice and on mobile also looks sharp the only thing that you have to take care of or you know make sure that works are the buttons here right the, the buttons are important because it's where people will click on it so make sure that you you know select this image and you place a link to the landing page for this campaign insert and that's it and when people click here they will be taken to the landing page for this email campaign so now we saved we continue and now you just need to add your subject line and some uh, sense of urgent Okay, and that's it. Pretty straightforward and easy to uh, create beautiful and uh, eye-catching email campaigns. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you uh, like this kind of content, I appreciate your like so we can reach more people. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. See you.